Hi, I'm Salem Krieger. Today we're going to take a color file and turn it into a black and white file. Sometimes color photographs we take just, there's nothing really great or they don't have a, a good life to them. Turning them into a black and white print can really make a big difference. It takes on that 1940s, 50s, 1960s documentary feel. It's really cool. This is a friend's dog I photographed on a couch. I wanted to give them as a present a nice print. So I took this and I dropped the color out and I made a 16 by 24 Masterpix matte finished print. I think the contrast and the lines work much better. So let's go into Photoshop and take a look on how we can do this. So here we are in Photoshop. I'm just going to double click on my file. Here it is. Let's just bring this down a little bit. Great. First thing we need to do is get our tools. I'm going to come up here where it says Window and I'm going to pull down to Layers. This is good. Come up back up to Window and we're going to pull down to Tools on the bottom here. This is great. This is what we need to work with. So from here, let's go over to the top left corner. See where it says Image, Mode. I'm going to come across to Grayscale. Discard Color Information. We want, yes, we want that. Hit Discard. Here's our black and white, but it's not finished. It's a little flat looking. Besides that, one other thing. Down on the bottom left, see where here it says dot gain? This is called a profile. This is what printers use to print with. We want to change this. We want this to be RGB. So we come up to here, edit, and we pull down to convert to profile. In here we will see profile. See this? And we want the RGB profile, Adobe RGB. If you don't see that, come right over here and just click down on this and we have options here. Apple, Adobe, all these other options. But let's stay with Adobe and hit OK. And if we take a look now, see that? Adobe RGB, that's great. From here, we just want to add a little contrast to this. It's a little flat looking. I'm going to go to our circle that's half black and half white. And we're going to click down on this one right here. We're going to click down on here. We're going to come down to Levels. In the Levels, we have these three eyedrop pickers. These are great because now we're going to take this first one down here. This is for the white areas. And I want to come into the dog a little bit. It's a little grayish looking. So I'm going to click that white right here on the dog, right there. See how it just gave a little extra contrast. Then I'm going to come to the black one. And we're going to pick down here on one of the areas I know I'd like to be nice and black. And voila. Now that's very contrasty looking. Let me bring this down. But the beauty is, if we come back up into this mask and make sure that it's active by seeing the lines around it, like a little frame, and you get that by, if you click off, you click on, there it is, it's active. We want to make sure we have our brush tool right here. This is the brush tool and we have our black on the top here at the bottom. If you don't, see this little arrow? This toggles the top and the bottom. So if I go like this, there's white, there's black. We want the black with the brush tool. We come into, let me pull this up a little bit. See that? Wow. See, I just erased some of that area. Watch the dog's face. And what's interesting, if it's like, if I come up to my mask up on the layers here, see this little blob of black? That's showing me where I erased. So that's really handy to know. And again, the beauty of this is I can pull this thing right into the trash and start all over if I don't like it. So we're going to leave this right now. The next thing we want to do is click on our background. Right here, background. So I'm coming off of the eras erasing in the mask and coming down to background by clicking on it. We're going to come up to Filter, up here where it says Filter, and we're going to pull down to what's called Sharpen. Let me show you that. And we're going to go into Sharpen More. What this just did is add some sharpening contrast to the edges. Because when you photograph with a cell phone or a DSLR camera, they're actually recording soft pixels. This helps bring back some definition. So now we have this. We've made it black and white. We've sharpened it. Let's save it. We want to save this as a working copy so we can always go back and make adjustments. We're going to come down to here. Save as. 
and I'm just going to save this on my desktop. Here's the file. I'm just going to change this to number 2. So I know this is the second version. I have V2, which means version 2. And we come down here to Format, and I'm going to change that. It says TIFF. I'm going to say, whatever you have, just change it to Photoshop. So I have a V2 up here, a V2 PSD. That's Photoshop. That will be our working copy. We just save that to the desktop. Then we're going to go back up to File, and we're going to come down and save as. And this time we're going to come down here to Format, and we're going to change Photoshop to JPEG. So we go to here, just the pull down arrows, and here we are, JPEG. Come down to the bottom right, save. We want image quality 12, which is maximum. Just hit OK. And there we go, and that just saved it. Let's get rid of this. We don't need this now. And here's our JPEG 12. This is, and there it is. This is the file we will send to Masterpix. Thank you for watching. Please come back and watch more videos with Masterpix Prints. Thank you.